Hey everybody, today we're going to show you how to complete the Under Construction Mysterium here in Spider-Man 2. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So we'll start this off by showing you the location of this Mysterium if you don't already know where it's at. And what we're going to do is show you guys my entire gameplay so that you guys can kind of follow along with what I do to try to be able to get the gold medal for this if you're really struggling to do so. Now the very first thing that I recommend you do that makes a massive difference is going into your gameplay settings and changing the game speed to 30%. So that's the lowest you can go in this game if you haven't tried it out yet. It's really worth it for missions like these as it really slows down your game and gives you a lot more time to think about what your next move is gonna be, which is extremely important in this Mysterium because this one is very unforgiving. You have to take out 20 enemies within 60 seconds, leaving you approximately three seconds per enemy 20 times without room for error. And it's very easy to make a mistake in full speed when you're trying to take out 20 guys in 60 seconds. So playing in 30% will make a massive difference. Another thing you want to do is switch your uh, your difficulty down to Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man. I think that'll make it obviously a lot easier in the long run as well. But keep in mind, even after making these changes, you will still find this to be a pretty difficult challenge to complete. It's not like you're making this a, a walk in the park. So uh, definitely take the advantages. I've tried this. You know, I had that mentality of like, oh, I'm going to go in and do this. Like, I don't need to change my settings. I can knock this out. And and no, I was, <laughs> I was not able to knock this out. This is one of those that's uh, almost impossible to do. <laughs> So I highly recommend making those changes. Now, as soon as you spawn in, the first thing you want to do, and you saw me do it, was take out the three enemies that are going to spawn on the middle platform. You can take those guys out pretty quickly. And once you take them out, what I recommend doing, and there's multiple ways to do this, but what I found the easiest was to start throwing things. You can see there's all kinds of stuff to throw in the middle of the map. And the reason I like that is it cuts down your room for error, right? If you're running around to punch everybody, there's a good chance you're going to you're going to fall off the the platform or maybe you're you'll swing and you'll miss a punch and waste 2 seconds. At least with the throwing things, I can constantly look around in slow motion, find the next item to throw and it'll pretty much lock onto the enemy that I'm throwing it at and uh, and you'll be able to take out a lot of them this way without having to go far and uh, and run the risk of falling under a platform like I do here in just a second. So throw as many items as you can. When you look around, you see there's nothing else to throw. You can just grapple and immediately go after them. Um, one thing you'll notice in this gameplay, there are a couple times where I do make mistakes, but I believe they're very short. Right here is one of the big ones. So I end up falling under this platform here, and then I start to spam and jump. I'm freaking out because I'm like, oh no, I just ruined it. <laughs> and I was able to grapple up pretty quickly. Um, and there's another time later in the video where I swing and I miss and it like wastes a second or two. So not too many mistakes. And I still only was able to knock this out with one second to spare. So if you catch yourself making too big of a mistake, it's easier to just restart your last checkpoint and start from the beginning of the, the Mysterium rather than to just waste the time and continue going. So you'll kind of be able to tell when you waste too much time and when it's going to be impossible to win it uh, so that you don't spend too much time trying to complete this and get the gold medal. But we're back at throwing a bunch of things. I, I always feel like this is the easiest way to do this. And these is just to hover above and just throw all the items you can. Another thing I would do that I'm not even sure I did in this video is I would try to move like in a circular motion around. Like there's obviously a bunch of platforms around the middle platform. I would try to go in order, right? Like go in one circle or go clockwise or counterclockwise so that you don't get mix and match and then forget which platforms people are still on. Because it does take a couple seconds trying to figure out what platforms these guys are still standing on. Um, and I ended up getting really lucky here at the end, right? Like I'm, I'm throwing this down. I hit nobody. So that's a mistake right there. Waste of two seconds. And fortunately, with the last two alive, the one on the left spawns on the middle platform. So I'm able to take out the remaining two here with one second to spare. But 30 30% 30 game time makes this significantly easier. It'll still probably take you a few tries to knock out. Um, but once you, once you figure it out and how to play on 30% time, it makes things way better. You have so much more time to think about what your next move is going to be. But hopefully this video helps some of you guys out. I know this one is a big struggle. So hopefully you guys were able to get the gold medal on this. If you have any other questions, leave them down in the comment section below. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.